coming to you from Concord Esports. Give it up for your host, the digital mouth of the Esports South, Sick Tall Lord, and his sidekick, Johnny Boy. Thanks for that wonderful intro. I am Justin Smith, the digital mouth of the Esports South, and I'm the new host of the Concord Esports Podcast. We have a very exciting show for you today. I hope you enjoy our new format. But this show would not be possible without our sponsors. I want to thank the wonderful people at the Emporium. The Emporium is Southern West Virginia's number one spot for hobbies and fun. You can buy all kinds of things from race cars to model trains and more. Head to the Emporium today on Mercer Street in Princeton, West Virginia. Tell them Concord Esports sent you. John, I have not had as much fun as I have since joining the department back in April. Yeah. Now, folks, this is John Rose. John is the brand and marketing director for Concord Esports. Uh, John, is it like that every summer? So we made it through the summer. We, we lit the world on fire. We have changed our practice rooms. We changed uh, our uh, design. We changed our uniforms. We added an arena, John. Is every summer this exciting? Is this something I've looked forward to every summer? So this summer was actually one of the bigger projects um, we've had um, as, a, as a program as a whole. Uh, so, typically a summer um, uh, comes with obviously changing the facility, getting the PCs updated with new equipment, all that good stuff, and getting the new players established. Um, but the typical update of the graphics, the, the windows, the, the, the wraps on the walls, all of that's very new and ac actually is the first time we've done that uh, since the program started in 2019. Well, for our listener friends who are just on audio, please make sure, check out our social media. You can see a lot of the awesome things that we're talking about. If you're on Twitter, aka X, um, it is uh, at Esports Concord. Just go ahead and look up our regular name, Concord Esports, for the rest of our social media. Uh, so we've, we've done all this revamp. And honestly, John, you were the heart and soul of a lot of that work. Thank you. Thank you. The, the program's much better off for that. What, when, when you saw um, in your mind's eye what you would, were, were perceiving to be the design practice for Concord Esports, what, what were your goals and how did you end up where you are? So um, a lot of it collaborated with Austin in the beginning. Um, he already had a direction that he wanted for this year's branding. Um, that he hasn't been able to meet yet. Um, so a lot of it started with him giving me the, the, the ground level of what he was wanting our, our, our voice and theme to be. Um, and that is our streetwear uh, uh, culture that we've designed now with our graffiti brand, our grunge brand, that uh, really started in 2018, the grunge part at least. Um, that's kind of our staple, um, and that's what we're kind of known for. So we, I took that. Um, and manipulated it into a style that allows us to incorporate a lot of the new streetwear that we're going to be launching uh, b before this airs. Uh, and it, it, it combos with the new voice and identity of Concord Esports. And all this merch, it's available through Acquire with Acquire, a K. With a K. With yep. a K. And that's not K Acquire. Yeah. It's instead of the Qu. It's a cut. You know what, Joe? Absolute brilliant marketing. Like you know, ten we'll, out of ten. We'll put the web address right here. Oh, right, right, right here, right folks. Here. You can see it. Click it. Um, it's going to be in the doodly do down below as well. Yep. Uh, John, so we, we're launching this new merch. It goes live this upcoming Saturday, which Tomorrow. is which which is after the podcast airs. So we hope yep. that you'll check it out. Uh, I know I'm wearing right now the hockey jersey. In the past, we had the the baseball jersey, we've had regular esports jerseys. What do you think are some of your future aspirations? Any, any hints or anything you want to give us going into the future? Um, so I'm a, little, I'm a little biased on this part, um, but I, uh, uh, one of the big items we're, we're hoping to look towards um, uh, is actually the sport I grew up playing. Um, so each year kind of our theme is to have a alternate jersey in the style of another sport. So I'll kind of I'll kind of leave that for the audience to so kind of So next year's water polo. 
Sure. Mark. Okay. <laughs> uh, hold, hold them accountable, <laughs> viewer friends. It's just, we're just going to, it's the goggles with Concord Esports on the side. That, that's all we need. Uh, Concord Esports Speedos. Watch for my model photos <laughs> this upcoming week. Uh, summer 2024 is going to be a blast. Uh, <laughs> or splash. Uh, oh, God, oh. you marketing mastermind. Uh, so, not the only thing that's that's changed is a lot of Concord Esports as a as a whole with what we're playing. Uh, yep. When I I started working with the org in 2021 as the League of Legends coach, yep. uh, we're going back into League. We left Valorant. Yes. We are still in Overwatch. Mm -hmm. We are still Stavage playing. two teams in Overwatch. We have two teams in Overwatch. We have two teams in Rocket League. We have a number of FIFA players. Yep. We are going into other sports games, but that's, that's something we'll talk about a little later. Maybe uh, maybe in Ascend Episode 3 that comes out in two Ascend weeks? Ascend Episode 3? Wow! Yeah, maybe. Hey, we'll see. Well, I cannot wait till that comes out. Yeah. Always quality content. Um, when... Uh, when uh, we, we set up our new facilities, yep. we, we did put the teams in designated areas. So yes. all the teams you are actually actively coaching mm -hmm. are together in one facility. Absolutely. That's Fortnite, Apex Legends, and COD. Two COD rosters. Yeah. Two COD rosters. Now, yeah. you got a long tradition yourself in excellence in COD. And, and just it is fantastic seeing that you're able to go back to the sport, the eSport that you came from, right. and try and chase that glory again. Yeah. Uh, we, we were at the top of the tops. It's we were, been a struggling past few years for us, though, right? We, uh, in the establishment of 2019 roster uh, and the 2020 gray roster, we, we've had the most success in program history with uh, seven collegiate titles uh, across the Maroon team uh, and, uh, and a, a mix of teams and some throwback tournaments and stuff like for the gray and Maroon mixed rosters. But uh, that, that's our legacy title, and uh, I, I want to get it back to where it is. And I think this year's roster has, has a really good chance to put us back on the map and get us to where uh, our COD legacy once was. Now, I'm not going to spoil scrim results because that's just cold. Yeah. But I can tell you, folks, scrims are looking terrifying for anybody playing against Concord Esports. So I hope you're going to check out our streams. But if you live in southern West Virginia, you need to come out to the arena. Yes. We have opened a 160-person arena with seats, concessions, esports decorations. Merch. Merch! Oh my God! We are going to get the merch so you're able to see it. You can check out some of it already, again, on our Twitter. Uh, what do you think is your favorite piece of merch that we've launched that isn't clothes? Who that isn't clothes. Oh man, I'm going to have to say the spirit sticks. Those things are, are terrifyingly loud when they're cold. Yeah. We, we took a set of them <laughs> out to move in day. Yeah. Because we had our players move back a day early. And when we had them come back, we set up a merch table outside because I am nothing but a salesman and a peddler and a snake oil mover. And I was going to sell those parents all the merch that I could hoover up their money for. <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't work. But maybe next time it's quality stuff and I hope you'll get it. But we did take out a pair of the sticks and we had inflated and they sounded pitiful in hot air. They like were just they turned, kind of melting. They, they turned yeah. droopy and it was boom, 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 like boom, taffy. boom, yeah, boom. Like taffy. So in cold air, it is a class one product. So, I would put it A tier. So I would say definitely very usable in the arena. In the arena, yeah, which is sure. air conditioned. Yeah. No, no more blazing hot summer esports for us. We're not playing in the fields anymore. <laughs> we're playing inside. It's crazy. Uh, so I, I, I like the I like the spirit sticks. Um, I would say it's for me. It's either the mouse pads. I would say you're a mouse pad guy. Asterix, yeah. asterix there. I play mobas. I don't have to flick nothing. I'm about to say it's it's, uh, it's, it, it's. it is definitely a uh, your grandmother's mouse pad. Yeah, but, but uh, as the venerable grandfather of Concord Esports, <laughs> uh, it, it's a good mouse pad. Uh, it's definitely your uh, family use mouse pad that, yeah, uh, that, yeah, I, it's, that it's, your it's, parents used to show support. That's yeah. right. That's right. Uh, and I hope that you will show support. Pick up some merch. I got bills to pay, y'all. <laughs> I got kids to feed. Yeah. Uh, now, with regard to feeding, we did have a fantastic orientation. We did. Uh, we brought our students back a day earlier, like I'd said, and we took them to, uh, after the orientation, we took them to Princeton Pool. Mm -hmm. uh, you, can, you can see John will make sure 
uh, that the photo uh, is, a link to the photo is, uh, some of the, the social media posts that has a photo is in the doodly doo below. Yeah. Uh, the students had a great time. I had a great time. And we want to thank Case West Virginia's Project Yes for working with us. They presented Absolutely. our students about healthy choices. They provided a delicious meal while we were at the pool, and they, they loved it. It couldn't, uh, it couldn't have been better. We, it we, was fantastic. Fantastic memory. I think a lot of the students are going to cherish, and we're very thankful to Case West Virginia for doing that. Absolutely. Um, the, in terms of sponsorships, there's another one big uh, pickup. We here in the future, we're going to be working with Community Connections. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to spoil too much about that, but make sure you keep an eye on our social media. We're going to have some fun outings with them in the future. Uh, where we really are trying to be a lot more community conscious. Yeah. We we live in an area where people people view us as football country, and it is. It is. Huge. We have some of the most terrifying high school footballers, like in the country. Yep. Um, but this is esports country, folks. Uh, we we have some of the most talented young players that I've had the ability to see, and I most of my professional career I've been in the schools, uh, so I can tell you, looking at these players and comparing them to the pros that we all aspire to to model ourselves after. These kids got potential all in Southern West Virginia, Western Virginia. Yep. So please support your local esports and, and support us. Uh, we, we need it. Absolutely. So, John, we're going to wrap this podcast up with the last conversation. I want to know, out of this semester, what are you most excited for? I'm excited to have the debut of the arena. Uh, I'm ready to utilize the potential of that room to the, to the fullest and open the door to any college or university that we play um, this season to come play us in person let us let us have have your teams here and let's let's hold it like a one night land event and it would be absolutely fantastic and great content for the both for the both of the schools to to utilize that in their socials their YouTube channels and honestly just their advertising so if, if I wasn't a Concord eSports employee and I was wanting to work with Concord eSports on coming to their school to play, what are some things that I can expect if I come here? And if I am a team playing Concord remotely, are there things that I need to keep in mind with like uh, rescheduling games or with canceling matches? Is there anything like that I need yeah. to keep in mind? So one of the, one of the, I don't want to say issues, but one of the problems with having a live audience um, that tickets are pre-sold uh, or pre-sold that uh, we're not have we don't have the ability to reschedule matches. Uh, so w this season, one of the um, one of the uh, graphics we're putting out before the season starts is we're not able to reschedule reschedule matches due to the um, the advertising and the the commitment to fans that already bought tickets um, to those weekly matches um, that we, we can't just cancel on the drop of a 30-minute notice. Yeah, it's, it's just like real sports. Yeah. If you buy a ticket to a Lakers game, if, if a player can't play, there are subs in place. And we're exactly. encouraging, utilize those, those deep pools that you have, utilize the other players you have in your mm -hmm. department. Um, but... Concord, we, we got a schedule and we're going to stick to it. Have to. Uh, now, that, that, that does stink. But in terms of playing in person, John, tell me a little bit more about that. Uh, if, if you were visiting, are there places around here to stay? Oh, absolutely. So um, that's one of the things we've been working on. We've been working on with um, local hotels that we're going to be reaching out to in the next coming weeks to uh, hopefully get discount, discounted rates for teams to, uh, to stay in their hotels if they want to come. Uh, stay in person um, and also we have pipe stem resort that is a 15 minute drive from here that is an absolutely stunning stunning resort to where there's a pool basketball courts horse uh, horseback riding uh, zip lines it's actually a great weekend if if we could if we could schedule it ahead of time before we do pre-sale tickets that we could make this a whole weekend event uh, for a team to where they get to experience the not only the esports side of things but the the great adventures that, that West Virginia as a whole offers yeah, it truly is almost heaven. They, they knocked it yeah, out of the park with that advertising. Uh, now, if, if I was going to say what I'm most excited for, I would say it's seeing some of these academy rosters we have developed. Absolutely. We, we have a unique opportunity where we have freshman players who have some skill uh, to even introductory levels yeah. to the sport uh, where they're picking up 
new characters, new positions, even new games for some of them. Yeah. I love seeing growth. Uh, and, and it's exciting when you see that payoff. We have Academy rosters for League of Legends, Overwatch, Rocket League, COD, COD FIFA, Two and Smash, and, Smash. and 2K. And 2K. Um, we, we are at a developmental point we've never been at before. Yep. We this are is, at full capacity. This, this, we, we could not be bigger without breaking <laughs> some rules and upsetting some people that employ <laughs> us, uh, which we're not here to do. Uh, we love Concord, uh, and I'm not not being blackmailed to say that. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, now, John, with with regard to everything that we have and what you're most excited for, if you could give one message to the world about Concord Esports right now, what would it be? Tell it straight to the camera. Tell them to their faces. <laughs> uh, watch out. We're coming back full swing. We're going to make a statement, and we're going to be the Concord team that we were in 2019. Well, folks, there we go. Uh, John is going to be with us every week, but this was a special week. And again, John, we would not be where we are right now without your hard work as a student and without the work you're doing in staff you. as the branding and marketing director. So Appreciate thank it. you, John. And for the rest of my Concordians out there, for all the fans that are out there or future fans to be, I'm Justin Smith, digital mouth of the eSports South and host of the Concord Experience podcast. Tune in next week. Stop by the Emporium. Make sure you like and follow us on social media. And most importantly, have a good one.